Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have the first game of the 2018 Summer Cup and as played at Hamilton Park, this game is between Commonwealth and the Keyzone. Keyzone making their debut at a Summer Cup and they have a no bad team to be fair to them and yeah they had a chance there but the keeper for Commonwealth did come out and get the ball. Big Wally can he clear the ball and number 10, I think that's Jamie. For the key zone, switches the ball over to the far side where Connor Gracie is. He cuts inside of his man, gets fouled, Lima Klein and then hits it and that one goes just wide of the post. And oh yeah, key zone's in the dark blue, common L's in stripes, like white and blue stripes. So yeah, um, Hedgy going in there for common L, getting that graft in for his team. And now Liam McQuaid getting shoved over by Jamie, that's a free kick to common L. Gets punted up into the mix and it is Wally Bird to try and go up for the header. But the defender headers it away, Liam then headers it onto his fullback. He punts it forward and Brandon thought he was going to smash out on the volley but he takes a touch. And then it takes him a wee bit further out than he wanted but he had a shot and he got, got blocked. Now he goes out for a corner, gets whipped in, not even whipped in, just floated right to the back post. Then it's kind of shambles in, in the middle. Uh, two key zone players lying on the ground and Brandon's trying to get the shot away. Uh, Willie got the shot away but got blocked and Willie Bird. Tried to get the other shot away and they failed to. So yeah, that goal, um, Stuart McVie just scored that for Keyzone. You see it in slow motion here. Volley and it goes over the keeper. No too bad a finish for him. So 1-0 to Keyzone and Liam McQuaid now. <laughs> Quality, mate. So Keyzone back in the ball, punting it forward. And it is Lee to run forward with it. Time and space. They cut it into the box. Parkey, lucky boy. I mean, that goes down and he's missing an open net pretty much. Um, so yeah, that's turned out to key zone, and now Liam with us, uh, fake shot, and a wee, wee nutmeg going bow for, um, I mean I've got to say, that was quite nice, we'll get, we'll get a wee slow motion in that one, uh, it was pretty nice, um, but that's not the end of bow for versus McQuaid, we'll see that, we'll see a little bit more of that, Ginger cuts that, or Lee cuts that one back, bow for shouted leave it, which is a legal one in today's game, and yeah, so the ref blew up for a free kick, which was good, I forgot about that rule. But yeah, um, it comes over to Balfour. Balfour passes it back to Sean for the key zone. Sean into Sean. Sean into Balfour. He takes a touch into Liam, and Liam's on the ground. And Liam with the with the hand egg tackle. Um, forgot he was playing soccer. And yeah, so that, that's that, I guess that's the Balfour McQuaid legacy over the rivalry over. Brandon now abusing that two star skill moves in the box and getting by his man and pulls off a good save from Nathan and Nets for the key zone. And yeah, Wally Bird with a flick on there and our simple catch for Nathan and Nets. And Balfour with an absolute bullet of a left foot shot into the top bins. 3 0 to the key zone, still the first half. Coming out, what are you doing? Hendy now in the ball, getting absolutely taken out by Chute. <laughs> and that was happening all game. Um, here's another one Chute taking out Hendy. And yeah, there'll be a couple more. I think this is one. Yep, you didn't quite see it in the video, but Hendy on the ground again after Chute. After colliding with Truett, so yeah, it was, a, it was a fairly regular occurrence during this game. Truett would just um, go out and try and get Hendy, try and take him out, which I mean, it's good content, I suppose. And yeah, Sean giving it over to Lee. Lee got some engine on him, drives forward from his own half by a couple of players, goes into the box, has a shot, but the keeper makes a decent save at his front post. And now for Common now, nope, this is the second half actually. Number 10, Jamie has a shot, but that one goes over the bar. And now it is Wally Bird on the ball, passing it back to his defender Wally. Wally taking time on the ball but just gives it away to the key zone player. Balfour, Balfour plays it over to Parkey. Parkey onto Jamie, has another shot but it's another kind of straightforward save from the keeper. And now Hedgy trying to go forward, gets sandwiched a bit, um, might have been a bit harsh to call it for a foul, might have been a foul. But if you didn't see that, Hedgy just kept on turning around and saying stuff to the ref. So um, after this, Hedgy will be dealt with accordingly by the referee. And you'll see that he got sent off. Yep, just a, a couple of wee swear words and that is Hedgy sent off. And his Summer Cup over. He won it last year, but he, I mean he won't even finish a game this year. So parking him in the ball, flick over his head, over the centre back's head. That would have been really nice if he pulled that one off, whether he meant it or not. And now coming out on the ball again, as Hendy on the ball, he's coming into the other half. Oh, who's on him again? Oh no, it's Jamie actually, not sure. But 
Troop's never far off of Hendy, as Hendy goes into Troop, and it's just kind of war in the middle of the park here. Hendy's into Hendy, Troop shoves uh, number four over, and Commonwealth will eventually get that free kick. It could have probably went either way for either of the six fouls committed by each team. But as Jamie on the ball now for the key zone, and he gives it out on this near side to Jack. I think that's his name is Jack. Plays the ball through to Stuart again, and he puts that one under the keeper. Makes it 4 0, and then right after that, he dinks the keeper. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get that goal because literally Big Wally at the back just passed it straight to him for kick off, and he went on, got his hat trick, chipped the keeper. Um, I wish I got it, it was a good goal. Well, I think so, I didn't really see it because. I didn't expect it to happen, but anyway, Parky going by a few of their players and then giving it on to Stuart again. Stuart goes by his man and fakes the shoot but gives it out onto this near side. Gets crossed into the box, Nathan Clark is there, the substitute and makes it 6 now. And yeah, um, if Commonwealth weren't out already then that is the game well and truly buried. As I mean, they're coming up for some some pride goals. They're trying to fight some, for some pride, some consolation. Hendy with a shot. I, I mean, that's probably some progress for the key zone. A shot on target. Brandon now cutting inside of his man and having a shot, but Nathan makes a good save. And then it comes out to Ziggy. Cheers, man. It's into the box, but nobody is there. And Kai follows up with the the rocket of a shot. Now Kai back in the ball, cuts inside of his man, tries to give it on to Hendy but he doesn't do so, Lee then takes it away from him, has a shot but that's a woeful shot, and that's going to be full time, game finishes 6 now, only the 6, and yeah, key zone, looking strong going into the next round, the semi-finals, and yeah, I'll try and get one of these out every day, obviously there is a game every day apart from Saturday, but there should be a video Saturday, so yeah, if you did like the video, please leave a like, and I'll see you on the next one, bye.